The bacteria that cause plague, Yersinia pestis, maintain their existence in a cycle involving rodents and their fleas. In urban areas, or places with dense rat infestations, the plague bacteria can cycle between rats and their fleas. The last urban outbreak of rat-associated plague in the United States occurred in Los Angeles in 1924 and 1925. Since that time, plague has occurred in rural and semi-rural areas of the western United States, primarily in semi-arid upland forests and grasslands where many types of rodent species can be involved. Many types of animals, such as rock squirrels, wood rats, ground squirrels, prairie dogs, chipmunks, mice, voles, and rabbits can be affected by plague. Wild carnivores can become infected by eating other infected animals. Plague symptoms depend on how the patient was exposed to the plague bacteria. Plague can take different clinical forms, but the most common are bubonic, pneumonic, and septicemic. The plague bacteria can be transmitted to humans in the following ways. Flea bites. Plague bacteria are most often transmitted by the bite of an infected flea. Dogs and cats may also bring plague-infected fleas into the home. Contact with contaminated fluid or tissue. Humans can become infected when handling tissue or body fluids of a plague-infected animal. Infectious droplets. When a person has plague pneumonia, they may cough droplets containing the plague bacteria into the air. If these bacteria containing droplets are breathed in by another person, they can cause pneumonic plague. To learn more about the plague or other health and safety, infectious disease, environmental, or indoor air quality issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.